Hi guys, Todd here. This might be a... I'm a kidding. This is going to be a quick review. If only, you say. Um, this is going to be a look at something. This is... This is a squonker. Now, before we get going, and I've said this before, but I'll say it again, just in case, for those that don't know. A squonker, or is also known as a bottom feeder. Um, effectively, you have a rebuildable atomizer on the top here, a dripping atomizer, um, and instead of dropping the juice from the top, you know, a few drops at a time, you actually have a bottle of juice below it, and when you push the bottle, it pushes juice up through a nozzle into the tank. Very popular in some areas of the vaping community and other areas of the vaping community it's just misses a lot of folk by. Before we get going I could only plead with you to go and try one. They're brilliant. They are. Squonkin's great. Um, I think my first one was about a year and a half ago now uh, and I've thoroughly enjoyed using them ever since. Now I got my uh, Dibby uh, squonker a wee while back, or a few, about a month or so ago, and, and I love that to bits. And I was on the lookout for another 22mm squonker. There's a, a company that I've dealt with in the past, and they're called Lake, Lake, Lake Mods. Um, L A I K. Now he sent me, that, sent me a pronunciation guide. It's L-A-I-K, you say it like you say it, like, so, like, I don't know, but he tried, he tried to educate me. This one is a 22mm, he also does one that has a 16mm cup on it, um, and I'll come back to the cup thing and explain that in more detail. You're looking to start, start from 100 euros, which I think is just a bargain for what you're getting. Um, I'm going to have a little vape just now. And it's just awesome. Um, I'm actually vaping. This is uh, P Vapors uh, New Juice. Uh, this is Yellow Eyed. Um, and it's just absolutely stunning. In fact, what's it's got a write up of it here. It's lemon bar crumble cake, and it's stunning. Um, so thank you, Tamar at P Vapor. Uh, right, enough. Let's go down, and we'll show you this in a bit closer detail. Now this is me fully set up and running just now. Uh, what I'll say is, if I take this off, my this is an Origin V2, and I've actually got a squonking adapter kit for the Origin V2. So what you see here is a 23mm cup, so that means it takes 22mm atties, okay? Um, so you, if, essentially if you watch, here's the bottle in here, if I push there, see the juice coming up? straight up through that little hole in there into your your dripper and you know it does suck the excess out as well back into the bottle now this is made of uh, is Tarara Amarilia uh, which is a canary wood um, so it, it's got a really nice finish to it and personally I think he's made a beautiful job of this um, it does look strange without an atomizer on it, but you know, once you get your atomizer on it, it looks great. This is actually the firing button here. It's a mechanical, and it's got the, the company logo on it there. Hopefully you can see that okay. There's no locking switch as such. It's just that. Now, what we do is... I'll, <laughs> excuse me. I'll pull that. And there you can see inside. Now, 
I asked for one that would have a kick ring on it. So if I pull that out, you can actually see this normally takes an 18650 battery. And it'll still take an 18650 battery. But he's put in this ring here. Means I can take my kick too. I put the prongs down onto the plate, like so. I've got an AWIMR battery here. And that just works a treat. So that just sits in there like that. Here we have a 5ml bottle. Let's take 5 mils of juice. Uh, and in here we have a really strong magnet. And you've got the magnet in here as well. You can see that there's a, a lip here. So what you do is you just put that in there like so. Hold on to it. And it just catches there. Yeah, I'm getting juice everywhere now. Pull that. <laughs> it is strong, believe me. And there we go. Now, we'll take the batteries out. Now, I have to say, I have found AWIMRs to be a perfect fit. Uh, some of my other batteries I've tried are not really spot on. You know, even just trying a, an E-Fest IMR here, you know, it's not going to work because nippleless, and there's not really much of a a ridge, uh, much of a nipple up here if you like, it doesn't protrude very far so I would suggest that you have nipple tops or a little magnet spacer on there if you want to use them but personally I would say go for AWIMRs, they seem to be the perfect fit for this now I'm just going to pull this bottle off like so and what happens is I'll try and do this without getting juice over everything so that top cap comes off like so and then you've got this press fit top section in here and you know I can just take a little knife here and I'll just pop that off and that sits in the bottom of the bottle and there's nothing surer that when you push that back in you're going to get a little bit of juice coming out always have a little bit of vapor's towel kicking about There we go. Screw this back on. And that'll just put that back on there. Remember that kick ring will is optional, so you will pay more for that. So I'm just going to stick my little bottle back on there. Like so. Nice and comfy fit. My kick ring, my 18500 battery that's me good to go pop this back on and that's it so there's the top of my origin off and you can see if I push the button plenty of vapour kicking away there now if I push the button, the, the bottle hopefully you'll see this juice will come out fill it up, let go and it sucks all the excess juice back down into the bottle. Pop this on. And that's me good to go. Now, as you can see, it's, it's quite a... It is quite a small device. Um, it's not tiny, but, you know, for an 18650 box mod, squonker, it's... It's quite petite. Uh, now it says brass used in the contacts uh, for the, the switch and for you know the positive and negative. Uh, the, the pressure on the button is is, is quite light. It's it, it's actually a really nice switch to use. Uh, you do have to be careful. You have to be careful. You, you almost do have to carry this if you're going to be using it. I'll be honest, it very seldom leaves the house. Um, this and my Dibby very seldom leave the house uh, because I just treasure them. I absolutely love them. Uh, so, you know, you have to be aware of the firing button, not being able to lock it and just where it is. Now, the fact that it's not here or, or here, the fact that it's there, uh, it 
that makes it good as a left hand or a right hand firer, it, it's just works. There's no, I have no issue with the way it vapes. I mean, that's me just got a straight 18650 in it just now, and I have no issues with the performance, not a one. When I first saw the photo of this, I did really like the look of it. The only thing that kind of didn't appeal to me was the, the brass cup. Um, but now that I'm used to it, it's, I mean, it does just overhang a little bit in either side there. Uh, whether it's me just smitten with it or whatnot, uh, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me. I could see it might bother other people, but it doesn't bother me. Uh, remember that it comes with a, you can get a 16mm cup as well, which will take 15mm atomizers. Um, I've got one here. Yeah, like this is the, the A7, um, but you know, it will not fit in that cup. Uh, I think if I was to use that one there, I might get, just might go everywhere. Yeah, I, I'm using a, an A7 here, which is, is actually vaping all right, but I'm finding when I push the bottle to fill it, I do get a little bit of excess juice coming out around the bottom. But when I let go, it does suck it back down into the bottle. It just doesn't look quite as pretty, I have to say. But uh, I have to put a shout out to a guy called Edward. Because uh, this got sent on to Edward, who then sent it on to me. And um, I was Ed Edward actually mentioned he thought it would be a great idea if we had like a, a spacer ring or something that could sit inside there. Uh, you know, for putting 15 milates in, which I thought was a great idea. Right, totally honest here, I have a real, real weakness for this kind of stuff and maybe it does blinker me a little bit to the, the negatives, I, I'm the first to admit that, it's wood, it's brass, it's a squonker, it's, it's everything that I personally want out of a device. Um, And, and, and this just works so well, it ticks all the boxes for me. So it's, it's hard for me to be, yeah it is, it's hard for me to be objective. That, yeah, there are, a, a, just at the bottom, I mean, there are a couple of little splinters, just, you know, where it's not perfect um, there. Um, I, there's no locking ring on the switch. And that, that's about it, that is really, if I was being really nitpicking, that's about the only issues I can really find with it. Um, and, and yeah, maybe the fact that the cup just slightly overhangs on either side. But if you are a Squonkin fan and you are looking for a bottom feeder, um, and especially this one because it takes the kick, that's great. It does have a bit of this going on though. Yeah, I, I, can't, I can't really, it does rattle with the batteries, but just with the AWIMR, but, so that might be an issue to some folk. I hadn't actually really noticed it <laughs> until that second. <laughs> That's how blinkered I am. I'm possibly the worst person in the world to be showing this off to you. Um, so if a little bit of battery rattle like that bothers you, then... At least you know it doesn't now. You can see the vape's amazing. I'm going to stop there. Listen, I, I, I can't thank Leak, Lake, Leak, Lake Mods <laughs> enough for sending this on. I got this free. I did get this free. I didn't actually get it free for review. Didn't ask me for a review and said not to worry about doing a review. But 
I wanted to show it off. I wanted to share it with you. Uh, I actually just wanted to share something that I have a deep passion for. This is this is my passion. Um, and, I, and I can only say that if you want to try squonking, it's a good place to start. It's a bloody good place to start. Sod it. I'm away in the house and I'm going to sit and vape my lungs out. Guys, thank you very much for watching and thank you for putting up with me because I know I've been rambling and, and not really probably as professional as I should have been, but uh, this is my thing. Uh, we'll catch up with you next time. Take care. And that's it. Cheers, guys. Bye.